pupils at an East London school were stunned when the Duchess of Sussex paid them a surprise visit to celebrate International Women's Day. Well, Meghan got a bit of a shock herself when she invited 16-year-old head boy Aka Okoye up to the stage to say a few words. He grabbed the chance, steal a kiss and global headlines. She really is beautiful, isn't it? <laughs> Anakia is here now with his mum, Sherelle. Very good morning to you both. Morning, morning. Akia, it's absolutely <laughs> lovely to see you. What an extraordinary moment. It has been. It has been, really. Um, <laughs> can I really say any more? It just happened so quickly. You were head boy yeah. at this school. You know Megan is coming. Uh, had you planned you, this? No, did I didn't, you know I she didn't was know coming? until no. the morning. <laughs> you didn't know? No. So when she said, is any, any boy out there prepared to come up here and say something about women, what were you thinking? I want to do it. <laughs> That's what I was thinking. I, I felt as if that I could do it because it meant something special to me and I thought, I have the confidence to go and talk about something passionate. I'm passionate towards, mm. so that's why. I and why, why were you passionate about that? So it was International Women's Day. What yeah. were you passionate about? I was passionate about recognising the strong women in my, my personal life and really giving them recognition, because what I realised, um, I'm studying history at the moment, which, again, even, even my history teacher is, is a female. So what I've realised through looking back is that women's rights and women's um, struggles has always been a talking point. It's always been something very important and it's been something I believe has been even underlooked and just not given the right amount of attention. So now that I've a man, a person who benefits from the patriarch, I can at least say I recognise their achievements and I am in awe of their presence wow. all the time. So, well said. Yeah. Uh, and no, you're we, sitting you, next to you a brought your mum, <laughs> Sherelle. Now, Sherelle, you weren't going to come on, but I thought, <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm having that smile on national TV. <laughs> <laughs> all right, we're getting you on. And um, a strong woman, Sherelle, of course. You, you must be very proud of I your son. I am indeed, yes. <laughs> and what did you think when you heard that Megan was coming to the school, or did you not know no, until afterwards? No, I didn't afterwards? know. Right, didn't so know tell, us, tell us about what happened. It was just a shock. We got a phone call saying that she was going to be there. I was like, oh, wow, that's lovely. But I didn't expect all of this afterwards. <laughs> but I'm not surprised. Your it. son is the most <laughs> yeah. young yeah. man in the world right now. He wow. is, yeah. Uh, are you proud of him? <laughs> I am, indeed. This I'm very great. proud. Let's take a look at when you finally got to the lectern, Akir, uh, you decided not to start with your planned speech that you no, had in mind. You decided to start with a one liner. Let's take a look. <laughs> she really is beautiful, isn't it? <laughs> Talk about her star quality, and obviously yeah. that had an impact on you, Akia. It did, it did. <laughs> it did. When you watch that, does it make you laugh? Yeah, it does. I was really embarrassed when I first saw it. I thought, oh, God, they recorded it. I knew they recorded <laughs> it, but I was like, ooh. But you know what? It was a wonderful moment, because was. whatever you think of all the controversy around Meghan and Harry and the royals and so on, actually, it was a human moment. And I think you just said something that made everybody laugh. It cheered everybody up. <laughs> We're all worried about coronavirus and stuff. It was a really nice thing. What did she say to you uh, when you when you said all this? I'm very brave. Very well said. <laughs> <laughs> very well said. I, I love the front <laughs> of the, the, the sun this morning. Sorry, I cuddled your wife, Harry. Now you have handwritten a personal apology yeah, I have, I to have. Meghan's <laughs> husband. Yeah, I don't uh, want to cause any more what? controversy. <laughs> <laughs> you Are you worried that? Yeah, yeah. I, there was um, there was an Instagram um, comment on a post that I was on, and they said if. I'm dead in the next six months. We know who sent the hit out. I thought. <laughs> <laughs> so, oh, let me cover. Let me cover myself. <laughs> you thought I'd better send Harry yeah. a note. Oh. Yeah. What is she like up close? What was that moment like? That, she was really that... humble and down. Well, she's her. beautiful, isn't it? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> she's, she's more than that. She's more than that. She's amazing. She's an amazing person. So. <laughs> I wasn't... <laughs> Sorry. You looked, was just, yeah, you looked it was just, so happy. I, I was flabbergasted. I was just... <laughs> it was just an amazing moment. You went in for a long hug. I mean, you took your chance, didn't you? Of course. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Harry. But of course, of course. It was one of those moments which I'll cherish for the rest of my life. And mm. to see that she's more than um, a pretty face, she actually is an amazing person who's strong, committed, and is really inspirational. So I really... I'm privileged to be in her presence, and I felt privileged at the moment. What does it mean to to young uh, to a young black man like you at a mm -hmm. school in in London to have the first 
person from a mixed heritage like Meghan Markle come into the royal family? Mm. And it, obviously, she's now they're leaving most royal duties. But what did that mean to you when uh, she got married to Harry? What do you think it means to the black community in this country? <sighs> um, I think it shows that we are present. I think it goes to show that us as a caucus, as a group as a race, we are present in this country so much so that we can come in from another place. And I feel as if that gives us hope and gives us um, a little bit of drive as well. Representation matters. Of course it does, for, it? for any race, not just black people, any race, any um, gender, mm. any sexuality, mm -hmm. any religious belief, representation is always a big thing. Sure, and what does it mean that she's leaving? Now, I mean, you know, this was their last visit as <laughs> senior royals. Yeah. And, you know, obviously her presence in the royal family, as your son says, has had a huge impact. But now they're off. Does that make you sad? Yes, it does. It is, it is sad. But I'm, I'm glad that she has been there for the time that she was. I think mm. she's done a great job since she's been there. Mm. The, what are you doing now? Exams coming up? <laughs> yeah, I have my GCSEs. What like do you think you else. do? How I mean, many we are you don't taking? know what's going to happen, we do we? We don't, we don't. Um, yeah, pardon? How many are you taking? How many? Boom, 11. I'm 11? 11, yeah. So you're a bright boy. <laughs> yeah, good what, do you, for you. what do you want to do with yourself? Own it, I'm here. Own it. <laughs> what do I want to do? You're a bright boy, innit? Yeah. Right? <laughs> <laughs> what I'm do you want to do? I'm going to have to trademark that word now. You have? <laughs> honestly, honestly, you should trademark. She's beautiful, isn't it? Because no, it's, it's going to become your thing. What, what is it you want to do? T-shirts, mugs, you can mugs. make all. <laughs> yeah. Okay, you're very, you're a very impressive guy in many ways. What do you want to do with yourself in I your have, life? You know, I have many an, an ambition. I have two that I'm discussing with myself now in terms of career that I can see. There's a stable pathway towards. I love finding solutions to problems, and I really do like designing and technology. So I thought a design engineer, anything to do with UI design, UX design, anything to do with mm -hmm. creating. Um, solutions with technology, mm -hmm. I'd, I'd love to do, but I do dabble within the performing arts, so I do love, I love to write. I love, I love to write screenplays, scripts, I've been doing that for a little you're bit. You're only acting? Um, I've acted before, not on, in terms of... I don't of know why, but I've got stages. a feeling you're a performer. <laughs> <laughs> I think there's something about you. Something about... <laughs> yes. And who are you Or television heroes? or something. My heroes, <laughs> my heroes. Um, I have many, but... My hero sit next, right next to me now. Oh, thank you. No, 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 not. Oh, oh my about I'm sorry. Your I'm, mom. That's awkward. I thought you meant. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> you mean your mum? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> I was looking at you. Even sorry. sitting next to you. Don't <laughs> try it, Piers Morgan. Honestly. Cheryl, you're you're his hero. Thank you. Thank yeah. You are, you and he spoke up for strong women. You're obviously one of the women he was talking about. Uh, how important, on International Women's Day, a lot of people were talking a lot of bills yesterday, trying to virtue signal. This seemed really sincere to me. Uh, you know, you've obviously brought your lad up the right way. What did, what did International Women's Day mean to you? Um, just support and remember it's this, that women, we are, we are great. We do a lot. A lot of it's not recognised. Mm -hmm. But I'm glad that, again, the younger generation of men are supporting women as well mm -hmm. in what we're doing. <laughs> and, Akir, just tell us about your mum and why she's your hero. Um, well, I believe my mum's a hero because... She's still here, she's around, she takes care of not just me, I have three younger brothers, so mm. that's a lot in itself. She works, she has a baby brother to take care of, and she isn't just a mum, she has a life as well, which I think that's um, a stereotype. If you're a mother of more than maybe, say, one child, you, your children are your life, and I think that goes against what International Women's Day is for. Mm. Um, my mum is an athlete as well. She plays netball, which I'm really proud of. Really? Yeah, she, yeah, she plays yeah. netball. Is and she I, good? Really, I think so. <laughs> I think. I like, well, because she's my mum, of course. <laughs> well, of course. <laughs> she's related to me. <laughs> 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 she must have. She <laughs> but, can um, do everything. <laughs> she, can, she can do anything and everything. And I hope that um, not only my mum can show other young black females and just young females in general that anything is possible. Mm -hmm. And as long as you put your mind to something, it can be. You must be right now <laughs> top dog at. School, at my right? <laughs> the Robert Clack Upper School has never seen anything quite like this. You are front page news mm. and on TV yeah. shows around the world. Mm. What is going to happen to your ego when you go back to school today? I'm not sure if I'll fit in the door. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we had to make bigger doors here for Piers Morgan's ego. Yeah. So you're, my, you're my kind of guy. Uh, OK, listen, it, what you did was, not, was a great thing. It was spontaneous, mm. it was fun, but actually what you then said about International Women's Day was really impressive. You're a very impressive young man. Thank you. Thank you for coming in today. It's Thank our privilege to meet you. And, uh, oh, yeah, it's great to meet you. You know what, you, you, you're, a, you're a bright boy, isn't it?
<laughs> Go on, course. Answer it. Thank you so much. I'm going to learn this lingo. Yeah. Just stop there. I stopped trying. Wow. Uh, 